Okay, at this point, I believe that she's impaired. So, Jade, you're under arrest for OVI. Okay, put your hands behind your back, all right? Oh, okay. Because we got a phone call that you're impaired driving again. I think you're lying. Who... So, what's wrapped up in the cellophane? I have no idea. Uh, what? Well, felony, misdemeanor. Be felony. Go and turn around, put your hands behind your back. What's up, everybody? In today's video, you're getting two arrests for the price of one. It's the exact same Karen that gets arrested twice in two days for the exact same reason driving drunk clearly this is one of the most dangerous karens we've seen on the channel because she has zero consideration for anybody else she needs to be taken off the road permanently without further ado let's get right into it what are we doing Did you guys just come from village pantry over there taco bell did you stop at village pantry no Okay, we had a call that someone was concerned about a male and a female that just left Village Pantry said that they were like falling asleep. And then we saw you pull in here, so. No, I'm, I'm as wide as wake as ever, bud. You know. Okay. Yeah. But you guys are okay? Yeah, yeah I was of course, texting yeah. my mom back. My head was down, but. Okay. She might have been in an emotional state fighting with her mom. No, I'm not saying that you guys necessarily did something wrong. I'm just saying that based on the complaint that we got, we wanted to make sure that you guys were okay. Okay, yeah. That makes well, sense? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Fine. Have you guys had anything to drink tonight? No. Using any drugs or anything? No. No? No. Okay. I promise. All right. Well, I'm getting indications that that's not the case. Why? Okay, you're very slow and lethargic, for one. I'm slow and lethargic? Yes. Your speech is very slurred. Slurred? Okay. My pronunciation is good. I mean, what you, uh, lethargic is a word used like for slow bodied movement, like. Right. And I wasn't slow at all getting around to the end of the car or doing anything I was doing. Okay. Well, I disagree with that. Uh, all right. Okay. What have you taken today? Me? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing. Okay. Do you care if I check your eyes just to make sure you're okay? Yeah, you can You're okay ahead. with that? Yeah, you can go Alright, let's walk in front of your your car here. Can you just put your stuff up there on the hood? Yeah. This is for being... Well, I believe that she is impaired. Okay, at this point, I believe that she's impaired. Um, so I, okay, I want to make sure that you're not. I'm not. Okay, because obviously you drove a car, right? Yeah. So I just want to make sure that everyone gets home safe at the okay. end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So take a step away from your car there. Okay. There we go. Put your feet together. Just like mine are. See how, like, my toes are touching here? Yep. Sorry. You're okay. My feet are fuzzy. <laughs> All right. Just hands down to your side there. And maintain that position for me, okay? You see the tip of my yeah. finger right here? Mm -hmm. Alright, what I want you to do is follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. Don't move your head, do you understand? Right. There's over two and a half hours of footage for this incident. So obviously, I don't want to keep you here all night. So we're going to fast forward through some of the tests. But in my opinion, she is completely smashed. And the thing that's interesting with both of these arrests is that there were multiple reports that people saw her driving erratically, completely wasted. So she is definitely a danger to others. I got you. Do you have any recent head injuries or anything? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, I was in a car accident when I was pregnant. When was that? Um, mixing up my words. Well, I had my son um, May 10th, and it was probably a couple weeks before that. Okay. What What happened in your car accident? You hit your head. Yes. Okay, did you have a concussion, or what did they determine uh, there? Yeah, they determined I had a concussion. Had a concussion? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, is it still affecting you? Um, not really. Not, it, like, not when I drive. Gotcha. Um, 
usually, no. Okay. I try to let him drive, but... Gotcha. You know, I just uh, felt like driving tonight. There's a couple other tests I'd like to offer you. Are you willing to take those tests? What, what are they? It would be a walk and turn and a one leg stand. A one... What, what, what is that? A one leg stand. So you just pick one foot up off the ground and yeah. stare at it. And you cannot allow 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, yes. and so on. I know you said you have balance problems. Yeah, so. I do have a very bad balance problems. A very, problem, uh, so. you know, rotten okay. your So I, I can't make you do it. I'm just offering them to you. If you don't want to do them, it's totally yeah, up to yeah, you. Yeah, I'd rather not because no? my balance issue, just, I just don't want to. Yeah, with the okay. matter are, of rotten your legs. Are you willing to do, to do anyway. a test where you just stand pretty much like normal, um, feet together, tilt your head back, close your eyes, and... Count to 30. Count to 30. You willing to do that? Yeah. Okay. Just look up and count Yeah, I'll, to 30. I'll give you the instructions here, okay? Okay. Um, so go ahead and take a step away from your car there. Okay. And then yeah, put your feet right together right. just I'm like they just were. Sometimes okay. it's still hard. Okay. Hands down to your side. Maintain that position for me, okay? okay. When I tell you to begin, I'm going to give you three sets of instructions. Okay. okay? I'm going to tell you to close your eyes. Okay. I'm going to tell you to tilt your head back and begin. Okay? okay, when I say begin, I want you to start thinking about how long 30 seconds is. Okay? okay, once 30 seconds has passed, I want you to look back at me and say stop. Okay. Okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions? No. All right, go ahead and close your eyes, tilt your head back, and begin. Okay, let's let's I, do that again. Okay. I'm sorry, I nope, that's okay. Already. It's kind of my fault I wouldn't set and I thought I was. All right. So feet back together sorry. for me. I, I was already counting. I, I, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> All right. Same thing, feet together there. Now, I would never take these drunk drivers' sides, but in the interest of fairness, I think it would be better to get rid of that idiot in the background because he's doing kicks, he won't stop talking. And I'm sure he's distracting her with his nonsense. But anyways, she's about to fail the next test so miserably, it's laughable. Hands down your side. Okay. Okay, close your eyes, tilt your head back, and begin. Okay, go ahead and stop. Okay. How long do you think that, that was? About 30. About 30 seconds? seconds. Yeah. How did you get there? Um, it One might have been about minute. 32. What's that? It might have been about 32. About 32? Yeah, I overguessed okay. it a little bit. Okay. Well, how did you get there? You just Were you counting? Were you just trying to think about it? Like, how I was did... just trying to think about it. Okay. Honestly, I was okay. overthinking it. Okay, so what I get nervous with these kind of things. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, do you have your ID on you? I don't. I lost it, but I can give you my social. That works. So, Jade, you're under arrest for OVI. Okay, put your hands behind your back, all right? Oh, okay. 
Now, she got processed at the station, and after reading her the mandatory explanation about the breast sample and so on, he asked her for a sample, but it had nothing to do with the breathalyzer. Check this out. What I'm going to ask you for is urine, okay? Um, I don't believe that you're impaired by alcohol. Um, I believe you're impaired by some sort of drugs, okay? Okay. Um, so I don't think breath is necessary. Okay. All right, I think you're going to blow triple zeros on that. Okay. Um, but I'm more interested in what's, what you've taken today, okay? okay. Um, so are you willing to provide a urine sample? No. No? Okay. Um, so your driving privileges are be suspended for a year, effective immediately. Okay. Okay. Um, and then you'll get a court date. I'll fill out some paperwork. Um, you'll get a court date and um, be able to so contest it. So suspended for a year. Mm -hmm. And I can't. You cannot drive at all unless the court grants you driving privileges. So get this, it was made extremely clear that she wasn't allowed to drive because she refused to do the urine test. But let's fast forward two days later and guess who's at the wheel, high as a kite, once again. Hi. Evening, Jade. What's up? I'm Officer Perk, okay? I know. All right. The reason I'm stopping you is because we got a phone call that you're impaired driving again. Okay? Impaired driving again? Yep. How... How do you guys keep getting impaired driving again? I, I don't know. But we got a phone call. I think you're lying. Who, I'm not. I can pull up the call for service for you. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Right. You can. Do I want you to because I, okay. I, I, I didn't. I, I, went to, I went to my grandpa's. Okay. Okay. Where is that? He lives down here. I lived down. I was down at my grandpa's, was I not? He called me because yeah. he's hurt. Okay. And he's a veteran. And he, he only has, has one and leg. And, and, he, and he only has one How's leg. Going? Okay. How long have you been there? Uh, my name's Darren. And I've, I've been there yeah. probably I'm a, the an hour. Boyfriend of her. An hour? Oh. An hour. Okay. Okay. So, where, were you, where were you before that? Where were I before? I wasn't there anywhere before that. Like before you went to your grandpa's, where were you? I didn't go anywhere before that. She was here. I was here. You were here? Yes. Okay. Okay. So you uh, you haven't been driving around at all? No. Okay. So Jade, you're aware that your license is suspended, right? Yes. Okay, so why are you driving? Because my grandpa needed me. She knows, it was just a super emergency. It was a super emergency. Yeah. My mom, yeah. we didn't have a license. My right. mom said that you. have a license. He shouldn't. My grandma can't drive. Walk, but he's... There's nobody here shape, in town that so, can help him but me. Yeah. Okay. Lady, have you ever heard about something called an Uber or a taxi? It can take you from point A to point B, and then you don't have to commit the crime of drunk driving. I mean, come on, lady. And on top of that, she's pretty combative today. She's accusing the officer of being a liar. During the first arrest, she was more cooperative. But today, her true care nature is starting to show. So who is he staying with? Who is my grandpa staying with? Yeah. He lives alone. He, I thought he had somebody living with him. No, he kicked him out a long, long time Steady. ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Vagrants use them. He, 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 the dude stole like over 400 some dollars from him. Okay. Yeah. All right. So any idea why we would have somebody call yeah, and I don't say that it. you've been driving around after using drugs? No. No? Okay. I have family that, um, I have family that, um, I used to have a drug problem, and okay. I go, I go down to TCN, yeah, and, okay. and I, and yeah. I, I go through the, um, MAT program, Okay. and I take Suboxone, mm -hmm. and, um, that's the only thing I take. Okay. And I'm legally allowed to take that. Okay. Um, so that would be the only reason. But um, but I, I'm not impaired. Okay. At okay. all. And that's literally the only reason why. Okay. Uh, when's the last time you used the Suboxone? Um, 
I'm only allowed to have one a day, so I take it in the morning. Okay. Is it the strip or the pill? It's the pill. The pill. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, Jane, give me just one second. I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay. So this is a tricky situation because she looks a little bit more alert than during the first arrest. And she admitted that she's under the effect of Suboxone. However, Suboxone is a legal drug that is used to get off dangerous opioids and used at the right dose, it does not make you sleepy. But if she takes too much, it will make her extremely drowsy. So it's a very interesting situation that the officer is in and I'm sure he's going to handle it perfectly because with this woman, you cannot believe one word that comes out of her mouth. Because I'm going to ask you a few questions, I am going to advise you of Miranda warning, okay? You have the right to remain silent, anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present before you answer any questions or make any statements. Okay. If you cannot afford an attorney, it won't be appointed to you by the courts. Okay? okay. You understand your rights? Yes. Okay. So what's wrapped up in the cellophane? I have no idea. Okay. Like I said, they're my mother's. Okay. Is there anything else illegal in the car? No. You can okay. check. Okay. I said just to let you know. I don't know what's wrapped up in there. I'm not going to open it. Okay. All right. That's fine. Do you know what it is? No, I don't. Because I'm going to I'm going to test it. That's fine. Okay. I have no idea what it is. Okay. All right. Go ahead and step back here with Officer Stanley. That's fine. You guys stay or go. Uh, I'm going to go and form. Okay. Okay. You go ahead and go on. So the officer spent another five minutes searching the car. He didn't find anything, but then he brought the suspicious cellophane wrapper back to his car and you can see how he's opening it. He's being extremely cautious. He has gloves on because you've seen on the news, the reports, you see officers falling on the floor when they get in contact with dangerous opioids. It's extremely dangerous for officers when they're doing analysis in the field. How can I make it? I mean, I can try again. What do you want me to tell them? To, 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 to tell them that they, they were her cigarettes. She that, left them in the car. So, I had no idea they were in there. So, all right, I'll, I'll ask her. I know they were hers, but she's not going to admit that. I, she's got drug charges. I don't know, understand why she would So you don't know what's wrapped up in that cellophane? I really don't. No? I don't. Okay. So who, who all lives in the house with you here? Um, my grandmother, my boyfriend, uh, my mom's friend, and me. Okay. Who's your mom's friend? Uh, Brandy. What's Brandy's last name? Uh, yeah. Rick Kainos. When was the last time your mom was in the car? She had it today. She asked me to take my grandma to the store. She asked you to take your grandma to the store? Mm -hmm. Do you have cigarettes in the car? I don't. No? No. So where did you get the cigarette that you were smoking when you were right there? When it, I first was, pulled it, was in, it was on the thing. It was on the dash right there. And okay. I was just I was just throwing it down on the ground. Jade, when's the last time you used any drugs or anything like that? Um let me see. I was pregnant and I relapsed and I went and got help and um so I was on Suboxone. Okay. That is terrible. She was using while pregnant. And remember earlier, she said that she got into a car accident when she was pregnant. 
So probably she was driving under the influence at that time as well. So clearly she has no care for her own safety, anybody else's safety, or even the well-being of her unborn child. This is truly vile and disgusting. I know that addiction can be difficult to overcome, but when you're pregnant, you need to put your needs aside and put your baby's needs first. Well, that's quite a dilemma we have here. Nobody wants to admit that the pack of cigarettes is theirs. And it's like she really thinks that her mom is going to come up and save her ass by admitting that it's hers. But if her mom is the type of person to use, she would want to save her own ass because addicts don't care about anybody else but themselves. So she is totally screwed. And even if it wasn't hers, she's still driving without a license and she's possibly intoxicated as well. So it's not looking good either way. Okay. Jade, are you willing to let me check to see if you're impaired or not? Yeah, I'm not, I haven't. Um, whatever you do is I'm going to have you stand with your feet together, hands down, uh, feet together, okay. then hands down your sides again, okay. Uh, what I'm going to have you do, okay, is I want you to think about how long 30 seconds is, okay. okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three commands. I'm okay. going to tell you to close your eyes, tilt your head back, so you're going to be like you're looking up at the sky, okay. and then begin. When I say begin, I want you to think of how long 30 seconds is, okay. okay. All right, once you feel that those 30 seconds has elapsed. So when you... <laughs> Keep your head tilted back. Yeah. 
Done? Okay, how long do you think that was? 30. 30 seconds? Yes. How did you get to that? Uh, how, how did you get to that? How did I get to that? Yeah. I counted. Okay. You, how, how did you count? I just count one, two, okay. three, four, okay. five. Right. And then I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you count backwards. Okay. I want you to start at 67, and you're going to count down to 49. Okay. 67 to 49? Yes. Okay. 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. What did you say I had to count down to? You don't remember? No. Okay. Now you're supposed to count down to 49, okay? 49. Yes. So I was close. Okay. Okay. I didn't, I'm sorry. I just... I, I'm, I'm just jumbled by all this. Okay. Why, why do you say that? I'm just, I've never been in trouble, so. So that was a f***ing lie. What does she mean she never got in trouble? She literally got arrested two days ago. It's like she thinks that these officers don't have access to records. And he literally told her that people were concerned that she's driving drunk once again. So he knows that she's been in trouble previously, as early as two days ago. Is there any reason your your pupils are dilated or constricted? Constricted? Mm -hmm. Really small. Um, no. no. Okay. You can put your glasses back on. Okay. Jay, do you have anything illegal on you? No, I don't. No. Okay. No. No. The reason I ask, okay, is because you are under arrest for possession of drugs. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna be taking you out to jail. Okay. When you get there, we're going to put you through a body scan. Okay. okay. I ask now because if you're found with something else on your person in right. the jail, that's an additional felony. Okay. okay. So do you have anything else on you right now that I need to know about? Nope. Okay. Go ahead and turn around for transpind your back. Put your palms together like you're praying. Palms together like you're praying. Right. Derek, go and stay back for me, boss. What's the Okay, just hang out one second. Go ahead and release your hands. Go ahead and release your hands. Release your hands. There you go. Okay. Jay, are those too tight? No. Okay, I'm going to double lock them so they don't tighten up on you, okay? Is there anything you guys needed to... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you guys have been cool with me, so I mean, I'll be cool with you guys. What do you want me to tell anybody or do anything? I love you and I'm gonna... I'll try to get the money to bond you out and do whatever I can. You guys could have came up to the house and talked to my mom. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I've been here like, you said my name. Good, no, no. I'm just going to buckle that up for real quick, right? Okay. So there you have it, another Karen arrested, another one bites the dust. So for the first arrest, she was charged with OVI, operating a vehicle in pair. Now the second arrest had a lot more charges. You have possession of a controlled substance, operating a vehicle while in pair, and driving under suspension with an ALS refusal. So she is going to be looking at some time for this, especially with the felony possession. That is not a good charge to have. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I know your time is precious, so I condense over two hours of footage under 30 minutes for you guys. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys on the next one.